life is not linear, you know, like this journey we're on and like the path to this ultimate goal is not linear. And even then there is no, is there an ultimate goal, right? Like we're constantly evolving. Yes. So like, that's been a big theme in my life. It's like, I don't, if I don't like where I'm at, I'm not staying put. I recently rediscovered what it means to live an aligned life. And I realized this is what I've always been in search of, alignment, what feels good, what feels right, what feels purposeful. Aren't we all? Hey everyone, I'm Letitia Bariola. I'm a career coach, I'm the host of The Reset, and that's what we're talking about today, tuning into yourself, getting really honest with yourself about what it is you want and why you want it, getting into alignment, and I'm bringing in the beautiful Yara Sanchez for this combo. She is the founder and CEO of Dali Mama. It's a wellness and lifestyle website dedicated to black and people of color. This is a woman who has found peace in aligning herself with joy. So here is our conversation. Yara, hi, welcome to The Reset. Hi, thanks for having me. So glad you're here. You just ooze uh, good energy. And I love that you and your brand are all about healing. And so when we talk about resetting and starting over and shifting our priorities, why do you think sort of tapping into the healer within, as you say, how do you think that can help us on our journey to resetting our lives? So I, I think about it, like for me personally, like I'm always trying to be in touch with my body and yeah. how I feel and um, if what I'm doing makes me feel good, if, if the people I'm around make me feel good, is this coming from a place of joy? Is it coming from a place of, um, I don't know, like the low vibrational things like jealousy or competition or, you yeah. know, et cetera, et cetera. So like, that's what I mean, I guess, by that is like, not being afraid to sit with yourself and be real with yourself and being like, okay, is this, okay, is this path that I'm on right now? Is this, is this true to me? Like, yeah. is this what I really want to be doing? Yes. And does it feel good? And you know, those questions. And so that's what led me to starting Dolly Mama and beginning this journey again. Like I've, I feel like I've lived many lives, you know, and Sometimes I, I feel like, oh, I'm, I'm just not consistent, you know, it's like one yeah. thing, but it's really just like, it's, life is not linear, you know, like this journey we're on and like the path to this ultimate goal is not linear. And even then there is no, is there an ultimate goal, right? Like we're constantly evolving. Yes. So like, that's been a big theme in my life. It's like, I don't, if I don't like where I'm at, I'm not staying put. So. I love that. And as you're talking, the word that keeps coming up for me is aligned. Like you live an aligned life. And, I, and I'm just now kind of learning about this concept and what it means. And I can now like pinpoint times in my life where I was doing something that was not aligned, but I continued to do it. Mm -hmm. And now that I'm waking to this fact, like, oh, like I can actually search out things that feel right to me that align with, with what I believe is my purpose. And that is okay. It's like giving yourself permission to, Keep going until you find a, a, a path that is aligned. Is that a word that you use kind of? Yeah, I bet you do. Like in your community and with your brand. A lot. Yeah, like that's definitely in my verbiage. I'm like, if I'm not in alignment, I'm out of whack. Yeah. You know, it's just like, um, yeah, being aligned with your core values and with what feels good and what brings you joy. Like, I think a big one is like chasing joy. Mm. I want to just chase those so like if I'm doing something and if this is making me happy I'm just going to do it you know and like it'll lead me to things it's going to lead me to the people that should be in my life it's going to lead me to the mm. opportunities that are for me and um yeah I mean of course we can't um you know avoid life's things you know like the right. unfortunate things right like those are always going to be happening um, but this is just about like, at the end of the day, you doing what brings you the most ease and joy. Yes, yes. And you're also really big on community and that you think that 
like community is one of those things that helps everyone. Like um, having community is support. It's um, it's it's having new friends and good energy around you. So I have found in my journey to entrepreneurship, like being in a community has been a game changer for me. Doing it alone was really hard until I found a group of people who were doing something similar. So when someone is like, okay, I want to change my life. I want to go after, you know, a new job or a new city. Why do you think like finding community should be one of the first things that they do? I think that we really can't do it alone. Like no matter what it is, we can't. And there is somebody one of like, I guess the people you look up to the most, it was somebody helping them along the way, you mm -hmm. know, and do not feel ashamed to ask for help. And I dealt with that a lot. And I'm still, you know, like tussling with that shame of asking for help because I'm like so strong and I've been just always like uh, uh, fighting and it's just like, just yes. stop fighting. Like, like, let's like, what if it can be easy? Like, ask for help. Yes. If you are able to have those people around you that can help you, like ask for help, you know? And that's something that I learned big time the past few years. It's like, I have an incredible network of friends. They're all incredible, dope human beings that are like doing dope things. And I love them. They love me. Why am I not asking for help if I need it? Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. What's so wrong with that? There's nothing. Especially Especially when if they was to come to me to ask for help, I'm there yes. in a second. But when it comes to ourselves, like we shame ourselves so much and we got to give that same love to ourselves and give ourselves like that same permission to like be able to like, if we need something, go and get it. Yeah. And ask for, ask it. for it. Well, I mean, that is so good. And you actually, you know, um, how can this be easy is one of my favorite questions ever. It, when someone asked that of me, I was like, what do you mean easy? Everything's hard. You know what I mean? Like, so thank you for, for saying that because it's such a game changer. Um, I want to end with this question. I want you to talk to the person, encourage the person or give them some advice. If they are, let's say unfulfilled in their work, right? In their career, they're itching to do something different to reset, right? And start something else. Um, but they're afraid, they don't know what's out there. They feel it's overwhelming. Where would you tell them to begin? All right, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna start with like how I began. It was really just like, I asked God, first of all. I did sit with, the, with myself, I meditated, I asked. Um, because at some point you have to give up control, right? Like we can't possibly control everything. So I definitely asked for assistance from like the higher God's uh, source energy, like whatever you want to call it, right? Yeah. Um, and just take that leap, honestly. Like you're gonna be a, you're gonna be scared. You're gonna feel all the feels. Like just feel them, you know. Like just feel it, but keep doing it anyways. And if if you're able to juggle, like okay, maybe you have a part time job or a, a job that you're trying to leave. Like how can you maximize your time and make sacrifices so that you can get to the place where you're, you're doing what you want to do. You're doing what yeah. you love, right? Like yeah. what is it going to take? Cause it's going to take work and it's not going to be no easy. It's not an easy feat at all. And it's still not easy for me. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of sacrifices to be made. Oh, you're going to come home from work. You're going to be tired. Yeah. But are you going to stay up those late hours to, to, to build this, this next foundation for yourself so that you're able to leave the other one, yeah. you know, a lot of hours to put in a lot of sacrifices to make, um, while simultaneously taking care of yourself is not easy, but if you are able to comp compartmentalize these things, I think like tackle them one at a time, like make sure your well being is always prioritized because if you're not okay, then everything else is just like, forget about it. Right. Yes. So I think just those things, asking for help with your peers, your people around you, asking for help from God, asking, um, and then you making the moves you need to make in your, in your everyday mm -hmm. life, and how you that can feel aligned, right? It goes back to the beginning that feel aligned, that feels, what is the word that you said, um, earlier, uh, it just feels like you're, you're, you're in sync almost with what yeah. you're 
created to do. And you'll feel it, right? Like you will know, you will feel when, especially when you are not aligned with something, you're frustrated, you're burned out, all of those things. So keep, I guess what I'm hearing is like, keep going until get some help and it like give yourself permission to get aligned with, with what feels good to you, especially when it comes to your career. The thing that we do all, you know, 90% yeah. of our time is work. So yeah. listen, I think these are gems. The Dolly Mama, okay, straight from her. Yaris, thank you so much for your time Thank today. you so much for having me, Leticia. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day.